people in Boyd County still without water this morning after the Spencer Dam collapse took out the county's main water line. A natural gas odor plaguing Southeast Lincoln. Well, that smell may last into this week. Smugglers hide drugs in some pretty creative places. Exhibit A, this find by the Nebraska State Patrol. Troopers found meth hidden in yogurt containers. For the first time, the Lancaster County Court will be holding night court for those who cannot get there during the day. Take a look at this. A semi-driver smashed into a Pottawatomie County Sheriff's deputy. Crete Public Schools has suddenly announced classes are canceled today on what is supposed to be the last day of school, especially with that quarter cent sales tax. Of course, that will not be on the May general election it, yeah. ballot, it. May 7th. Yeah. So you want to get out today. I've never been a winter lover. Well, I'll take you to a much warmer place. How about that? Is that a deal? Yeah. We'll go to South Carolina. The only thing that happens in South Carolina, though, with this warm weather is they've got alligators. And I'm deathly afraid of those. And really quickly, oh, and this is no dig at you, but this is the most fun I've ever had on the morning show with this cat right here. <laughs> but it's not your typical 3.2 mile race. There's also some obstacles like pushing tires, running hills, Burpees, yes, and other physical challenges all along the way. You see what she's doing here, though? Yeah. And she's pawning off all the hard work mm -hmm. onto our police department. Yeah. We have to investigate that. We have a bat flying in our studio. Uh, animal Dodging bullets here. <laughs> animal control is on site, but we're not really sure. We have to get it isolated first, and we don't want to hurt the bat. And there it is. Yeah. Um, if you can see <laughs> behind us. The state's first execution in more than two decades. Again, the execution of Carrie Dean Moore going on as we speak. And here's some exclusive video that we have into our newsroom right now from our reporters on scene. We do have an update this morning on a string of vandalisms that took place last week, leaving property owners frustrated and on the hook for thousands of dollars in repair bills. Brad, that's where I'll bring you in because yeah. you yourself are a cancer survivor. That's right. And so how is it, I mean, one, for Lincoln Berean to be able to host an event like this, but two, to have such a personal connection with this mission. Fire officials initially told us they were investigating these fires as possible arson. You may have even seen a push notification from us if you subscribe to our push notifications, but now that does not appear to be the case. By bringing this back to current events going on right now, Tri-County located very close to the Big Blue River. A lot of those families likely affected by flooding. You know, how does this have to do with what these ESUs do? It is negative two degrees out there, but Liz just said it feels like negative 11, and that is posing for a very cold morning for all of our friends over at Chick-fil-A.